Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. For those of you that do not know me, my name is Cynthia. Or as you can also tell, it's Cindy Lou. Whatever. Um, so today I am going to give you guys a review on the Juno and Company um, microfiber fusion sponge and then also the microfiber velvet sponge. I kept seeing these all over Facebook. I kept seeing them on Instagram and I hopped on Amazon and they had them on here sold by the company. So I saved a little bit and they were a four pack, two different kinds of sponges and I had Amazon Prime. I'm like, they're going to be here in two days. I'm going to have this whole bunch of time off for Thanksgiving from work. I'm like, I'm going to do this. I'm going to sit down for you guys and I'm going to give you a review on if they're worth the $18. That's right. Four of them for 18 bucks. Like, um, it was definitely worth a try, especially for you guys. And yeah. So go ahead, grab a snack, sit back. Let's watch this thing. Do this. But to start off with, um, I got these Juno and Company. They're microfiber fusion sponge. They're beauty. They're beauty blenders sponges, basically. Um, I have been seeing these all over. Facebook. I have been seeing them all over Instagram. I haven't seen anybody do any reviews. I really haven't looked, but nothing's like really popped up. But um, I see these on Facebook. And I'm like, let me jump on Amazon and see if I can get them um, real cheap, real quick. And um, like, cause Amazon we have Prime ship shipping, so I was like, let's see if we can get a hold of these. So I looked up the company name. It's a uh, Juno and Company, just right there, just like it says. I looked them up on Amazon, and would you know it, it popped up the exact same company I've been seeing them advertised uh, with, and it was a nice big four pack for 18 something. It was almost $19, and then there is tax included on top of that. And it's $18 even, and then Prime is available for it, and you have the option to get four velvet sponge bundles or the microfiber, five, the microfiber forever sponge bundle, is, which is what I purchased, and the microfiber, fiber, I can't say microfiber today, full face bundle, which is $20. They are currently not in stock on that one. There's a Velvet Loving Bundle, there's a Velvet Sponge and Essential Brush Bundle, and Velvet Sponge and Eye Brush Set. There's a, there's a variety of the what the company offers and what you would get on their website. It's just cheaper to do it through Amazon. And as you can see in the picture that I showed you, it comes with two different types of sponges, but four total on the website I'm sorry on Amazon it says meet Juno microfiber sponge the first ever microfiber makeup sponge fuses together your favorite makeup tools the beauty sponge and makeup brush this ultra soft dual layer sponge saves you up to 50% off your makeup Ooh, I'm sorry saves you up to 50% of your makeup products and perfectly blends in everything um what I have been seeing is that it doesn't, uh, it's supposed to, it's not supposed to absorb any of your makeup. It's supposed to all transfer to your face. It's kind of like the, when I've seen the silicone applicator thing, it's kind of like that. It's supposed to do that, but it's a sponge. Um, it says how to use, use it wet, or you can use it dry. Wet it, squeeze it, stipple it. Or perfect for liquid foundation, con concealers, and contouring. Or you can use it dry, dip it, tap it, pat it. Perfect for powder bronzers, blush, and highlighters. So, and then they have additional information. It says microfiber material, dual layer technology, and how it's supposed to work. Um, there's two layers that work together. They create a fusion technology that provides the perfect blend using less product. 
And then there's, uh, it says Blender Plus, plus I can't talk today. It says Blender Plus Brush. Um, picks up and locks in your makeup products so that it can be applied exactly where you want it, just like a makeup brush. Wet or dry, your products will blend easily and effortlessly without, with or without water. I'm sorry. And then it says your features and details, and then what kind of packaging it's supposed to come in, and the item weight, shipping weight, and it says that it first came on Amazon October 1st, 2018. And some people have asked questions. One of them was um, that if you get two different, uh, if you get the two different sponges that are pictured, and someone replied no, but in my case, I got the two different sponges, two different versions. As um, you can see, I got this one, and then I got more of uh, this one. But on the back, it there's um, okay. This is, this one is the microfiber velvet sponge, and this one is the microfiber fusion sponge. So, I'm going to read the backs of them to you real quick. Um, the microfiber velvet sponge is, if you're looking for a more natural airbrush foundation finish, the Juno microfiber velvet sponge is your go-to. Made with velvet soft microfiber bristles and a slant and a slanted edge for controlled stippling, the Juno microfiber velvet sponge provides buildable coverage fast. Um, that's about it. It says latex free, it has a flame on it, whatever that means, <laughs> and cruelty free, that's what the back of it looks like, and then it has all your information, and then it says the type of sponge, and then same with this one, but it just has it different, it says for the microfiber fusion, fusion, <gasps> For the microfiber fusion sponge, seamless results every time. Achieve the ultimate in foundation coverage with this makeup brush plus beauty blender fusion sponge. Save 50% more products and spend 50% less time applying it with our innovative design, perfect for blending in all formulas. So there's that. And it has the same with this, and then it just has its description and then what kind of sponge it is. And it came in a package like this, a nice big package, and all four of them were packed in here nice and neat until I got a hold of it. And um, I think what I'm going to do today is I'm going to do one sponge for half of my face and the other sponge for the other half of my face and see how it goes. Um, I'm going to use them wet, but if you guys would like me to use them dry so you can see how it goes, go ahead, leave a comment on this video, and if I get enough comments, I'll go ahead and take the time to do them dry. I'm gonna do it how I normally do it. Um, I'm just gonna put my primer on, and then I'm gonna do my eyes real quick, and then I will come back with the sponges and do the sponges half and half and I will do that and then I'll also give you updates throughout the day and see if there's anything different than a real techniques beauty bunge beauty bunge <laughs> beauty sponge I don't know what it is with today I don't know if I had too much turkey yesterday or what but um, I do not have a regular beauty blender so I'm just comparing it to this one so I'm sorry for that if you were looking at for it to be compared to a beauty blender. Uh, I just used this to put my concealer on for my eyes. So that way I can do my eye makeup. I'm using the back of this one. So you can see there's some of it has picked up in the little bristles. But I'm going to just see how this goes real quick. See if it comes off. Now, as you can tell that it did pick up some of my product and it's stuck in like these bristles. So that's that. I'm using the micro 
fiber valve is fun right now. So I'm just gonna move on from that real quick. I try to transfer as much of it back onto my face as I could and there's just still like this little patch and then there's like a very little residue left up here. I'm gonna get that in as you can see. Alrighty, so I did my eyeshadow and I put my lashes on. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and grab my foundation. I am still using the Mindless Healthy Elixir in shade 710 Classic Ivory. I am too lazy to go pick up, um, what was it? My go-to is my CoverGirl Outlast all day, three in one. But I ran out a while ago in my shade and I've been too lazy to go out and get some, even though I walked past it earlier today, so. And then I have been too lazy to stop and pick, grab one and too cheap to buy one at the same time. So I'm gonna use the one that I did to do my concealer with, but I'm gonna turn around and use this pretty little edge and then I'm going to do that on this half of my face and then I'm going to use my other one that I haven't opened yet on the other half of my face like I said before. So it's still a little damp from when I got it wet. Um, it's actually extremely soft and it's like it gives, gives very well. So it's, it's soft and uh, it's nice on, on your face. So since this is still damp, I'm gonna go ahead and do this. So I just picked up a little bit. I probably did this in the worst way. Usually I take a brush and I paint it on my face and then I go in and do that. So I'm instantly regretting that. I'm gonna grab my brush, just pick it up and pat it on my face. I'm just focusing this on my right half of my face. I'm not blending it in with my brush that I have in my hand. I'm just patting it on so that way it is applied to my face. And then I'm gonna go in with my beauty blender. With this uh, beauty blender. I'm sorry, I don't know exactly what I should call it. I guess a velvet sponge. It's probably going to be extremely heavy because I still have the one my face and I'm going to go ahead and apply it. I'm going to work it down my neck also just because I have so much of it. Very soft. And it's easy to control too. So that's really nice about this. You can focus it where you want to focus it too. The reason I look down when I'm applying is because my mirror is right here and it's hard for me to see my um, camera. Uh, help me out here, my camera screen when applying this. Just because there's light. In that direction so I'm gonna show you my sponge here in a second so this is what's left on my sponge as you can tell it is just sitting on that top fuzzy layer this is definitely sitting on that top fuzzy layer it did not seep through it just dried down that's why you can still see it so that is going to be it for this sponge. Remember we did this one on the right side, so I'm going to put that over there. And now I'm going to open my other one. This is the Fusion sponge. The other one was the Velvet sponge. It does have, a, so it's a reusable uh, packaging. Oh! I came with instructions, you guys. Oh, it's just the same as what um, I was telling you guys before. And it has like a little 
clean your sponge, do's and don'ts, and you can use it wet and dry. I'm gonna read the clean, clean your sponge, do's and don'ts. While cleaning Juno, do run your sponge under warm water to loosen trap product. Create a lather using a gentle soap. Squeeze until all product is out and water runs clear. Don't vigorously rub or scrub product off sponge. Use a, any textured brush cleaning contraptions. It will tear. Okay, I see. To merge and leave the sponge in water. Okay. It says avoid product overload. Submerge your Juno under water and squeeze out any excess liquid to begin. Apply a dime sized amount of your product on the back of your hand to prepare application. Do not apply product directly onto your Juno sponge as it will transfer to thick. And that's what I did. That was my mistake right there. Using a stippling motion, dab it and stipple product until you achieve your desired effect. That's cool. It came with a little bit more of a do's and don'ts and how to clean it. Avoid product overload. That is awesome. But anyways, I was saying that um, this comes in a resealable thing. There's a little thing in here so you can reseal it back up and you can use it for travel. So this one is just that nice big flat edge and then it's around and puffy on the other side. And yeah, it literally has like a velvet texture. And I have a warm thing of water right here. I don't know why I'm rolling up my sleeves like I'm trying to do science here. <laughs> so we're doing the left side of my face with the fusion sponge. This for sure makes like feels like you have more control. This sponge, you definitely have more control of where it's going, the product is going. And it doesn't feel like it's wet, like with your real techniques or your beauty blender, it, you, it still, still feels wet when you're applying it. And that's how you get that such a flawless finished look. I'm going to let that settle. Um, for uh, this is what it is. It looks like you can still see that just like with the other one, the velvet uh, like stuck onto the foundation and made it so it didn't seep in. Like as with this one, you can tell that it definitely has seeped in, like the foundation has seeped in. Um, for some reason, when they cut out this uh, sponge where the harsh lines are, I'm not sure if the velvet is too thick there, but... That's nice, it's got like a little, nice little top cut off right there where you can get into like hard to reach spots like so. Okay, but where it has the harsher edges where the velvet must have been put on stronger, it picked up more of that foundation and it wants to hold on to it a little bit more. Unlike, well no, same with this one, yeah. I think that's just a flaw with it maybe. But... I'm letting my face sit, I'm going to do my eyebrows, I'm going to come back, I'm going to set my face and do the whole shebang and make sure that my foundation stays on. I don't know if it's just sitting on top of my skin or it's actually setting in my skin. So we're going to try to figure that out real quick. I'm going to do my eyebrows, I will be right back. Alrighty, I drew on my eyebrows real quick. And now I'm going to go ahead and set my foundation so I can go ahead and add my final, um, I can go ahead and set my face with my powder. Using what I normally use is the Cody Air, Air Spun Loose Face Powder. Still really liking this. And... I'm just gonna pat it into my face and then swirl it around. I will say this when I put on my setting spray, 
It did take this side of my face, the right side of my face, the one that I used this sponge on. It took it a lot longer to dry than this side. This side was dry in like no time flat, like 30 seconds it was dry. It took like a good two minutes just for this side to dry. So I don't know if that was a sponge or it's just because I put it on heavy because I made the mistake of um, actually putting the product directly onto the sponge when, once I was supposed to not, when I wasn't supposed to. Alright, I am done setting my face now. I almost forgot what I contour my face with. I have this amazing Tarte Clay Play palette and it comes with three amazing contouring shades. Like, it has a whole bunch of this like beautiful nudes. I almost forgot what I contoured my face with. I was searching through my bronzer drawer and I'm like, what do I freaking do with my face? So lately I have been mixing terracotta and desert together and I've been really liking that shade. It's just more of a um, not so tan just because it's been colder and I haven't been outside. It's just more of a not so tan um, color. I contoured my face and I don't see any difference in um, application it, like it's definitely the same like none of my makeup moved around which is really really nice now well, I'm going to go ahead and apply my highlighter just how I normally would nothing different there I am obsessed with this highlighter. It's the Morphe High Impact uh, Highlighter in Extra. Like, this is amazing. Such a nice, like, rose gold champagne on the color. I'm like, look at that highlight, you guys. Like, insane. I am going to go ahead and finish the rest of my makeup, which doesn't require any, anything to really do with the sponges that might alternate um, the final decision of if these sponges are worth the hype, worth the money, and yeah, so I will be right back. Alrighty, I finished my face, I finished my look, and to give my final opinion just for now not for the whole entire day because I do want to do check-ins and stuff like that to show you if I have any major makeup uh, catastrophes or if it moves or if anything wrong happens I'm going to come in and check in but for now I love this like I am loving my final finish look like my skin looks so natural it looks like a natural healthy skin like it doesn't look very makeup -y. it doesn't I mean besides being heavy makeup contour highlighter and makeup and stuff like that but like as if it was to look like natural skin it does it does it does it does it does <laughs> it looks very nice it um, it actually set a little bit better um, than what I thought it would the sponges are really nice it's nice to know that it's not absorbing all my makeup and like I'm getting the most money for this um it just it does get kind of confusing between the two sponges one is what's called one what is called another so that does kind of get confusing it's kind of hard to keep track I don't know for sure if I'm gonna toss out my Real Techniques Beauty Blender, but I think I might. I'm gonna keep using these. I'm going to 
do the next few of my makeup stuff like the next few times I do my makeup I'm going to use these and so that way I can get a deeper depth of if I actually really really like these or if I love them or if they're a no-go and I'm gonna stick to my real techniques or I'm gonna switch back and forth between the two but um yeah like I'm gonna check in later um, I'm loving my makeup right now I'm enjoying this I want to go out I want to go show off my like like my makeup like I'm just so happy it turned out the way it did it looks amazing um uh, if you're wondering, I use the Morphe Liquid Lipstick Matte, oh, Virgin. I used that. If you're wondering what lipstick color I used, right there. Um, I used my Morphe palette for my eyeshadow, if you guys are wondering about that. Um, lashes are Ardell Demi Wispies. Um, I already told you guys about the highlighter, Morphe, um, and then I told you about my contour. I didn't do much highlighting. I did use a Tarte Shape Tape when I did my eyelids. I used the Tarte just because it's, uh, it does, it holds on to your eyeshadow better. I'm sorry, I'm trying to say it. I'm trying to think of other things at the same time. It does hold on to your eyeshadow better. I like it. It gets better results. Then just without using Tarte Tape Shape and a lot of Tarte uh, eyeshadows, they have the, um, I forget what formula it is, but it uh, makes your eyeshadow last and not budge and not move. Um, if you guys have any questions about my makeup, go ahead and leave a comment down below. And also, I will be back later to check in on you guys. I'll check what in with you guys. I'll check on you guys. I don't think I can actually do that. Um, but other than that, yeah, I'll be back. So it is several, several hours since I have done my makeup and my makeup held up pretty darn good. Um, besides my T-zone getting oily like it normally does, I would say like I didn't have any major malfunctions or anything like that. So I've want to say that it uh, it did it did its job like the sponge put on the makeup and my makeup stayed on my face so I didn't see any of my makeup sliding off I I'm not seeing any like like patches missing I'm not seeing anything out of the ordinary just my oily skin as you can obviously tell um, my highlighter stayed nice and bright, so did my contour. My contour stayed pretty strong. And yeah, and my nose didn't look patchy, nothing looks insane. I would give this sponge, a t t both the sponges, that's why we did right and left, both the sponges a 10 out of 10. Like it's worth its money, like four of them for 18 bucks. like. I would say that's definitely worth its money. I will put the link for the Amazon um, four pack bundle and all the other bundles in the description below. And then I also will get on their website and do the link for that so you guys can choose if you want to do Amazon or if you want to do just Juno and company and go that route. Um, it's entirely up to you guys, but I will. Put those there so that way you know where to find them other than that um if you like this video give it a thumbs up so that way i know to do more videos like this and i can continue giving you what you guys like to see and if you don't like it give it a thumbs down so that way i know i i know that you don't like it it wasn't what you guys wanted if you didn't like it you like the vibe of it whatever the case may be um and then always if you want to see something in particular, leave a comment on any social media of mine and on this video. But, um, yeah, like and comment. Subscribe if you want to. I really don't care. But other than that, thank you. Have a wonderful day and bye.